know what the crowd behind me is waiting for? Of course, the official opening of California's largest solar event, InterSolar North America 2011. This year, you won't just find us here in Moscone West, we'll also be in Moscone North for the first time, because as the industry grows, so too grows InterSolar North America. It's no coincidence that InterSolar North America has expanded to North Hall with such a booming solar industry in the United States. 800 solar exhibitors are presenting their latest technologies and innovations across 170,000 net square feet. Over 250 media representatives are distributing the knowledge gained here to the world. Thanks to the great insulation conditions in the United States, new technologies are being developed. Concentrating photovoltaics are on the rise. These systems use lenses or mirrors to concentrate sunlight onto high-efficiency solar cells. This offers significant opportunities at the utility scale level. Well, concentrating photovoltaics takes advantage of some very high-efficiency PV cells in order to create more energy out of less photovoltaic material. So in doing that, you drive costs down uh, as the technology becomes more and more efficient. It's a technology that's really geared to the high sun areas, so you get to the hot areas like the southwest US, uh, Australia, uh, Africa, parts of Europe, that's where this technology really belongs and, and delivers the lowest cost of energy. One of the companies making a big name in this segment is Soytec, who recently announced plans to build a 200 megawatt manufacturing facility in Southern California. Our plans is we will build a factory here in California, in, in the San Diego area, and we did that based on a, on a project pipeline of more than 305 megawatt, which we were able to create in the last couple of months. The optimal conditions for this technology are sure to attract even more companies within this quickly growing segment, not only in California, but also to the other southwestern states. But geographic advantages alone are not enough to establish a market. That's why InterSolar and EUPD have created a platform where local installers meet international corporations to facilitate an exchange of information. Cost reduction is not only achieved from the technology side. There's also much to be gained with quicker and more efficient installation. Marcus Honer, CEO of EUPD Research, explains the goal of this important initiative. The Joint Forces for Solar is directly positioned at the interface between the market intermediaries like the contractors, the installers, the system integrators, and the manufacturers, the inverter manufacturers, the panel manufacturers to get an exchange, an information exchange, and to bring the market forward and to push the diffusion process in the right direction. This global program is sure to have a big impact on the U.S. market. For the U.S. market, we hope to achieve several things. First of all, to get more visibility amongst end customers for solar energy. So we are helping the contractors and the installers uh, with marketing material and communication and information um, to speed up their sales. On the other hand, we want to bring international learnings and experience to the U.S. markets um, to speed up uh, solar installations uh, all over the United States. Facilitating discussion between solar stakeholders is critical to driving down costs. With programs like Joint Forces for Solar, the industry will continue on its path of success. Thank you very much for your attention. So what can we take away here? It's all about connecting people. And that brings us to the Solar Summerfest, another networking platform at InterSolar North America 2011. Join me again tomorrow when we take a closer look at the Oscar of the solar industry, the InterSolar Award.